Well, it's been a quick start to the 2024 season for Alex Bowman, a second place finish in the Daytona 500 and two straight fourth place finishes at Bristol and Coda. Uh, not a bad way to start the year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think Daytona, Bristol and Coda have been good for us. Um, the other three, not so much, but you know, I think, uh, I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, have a little bit of momentum on our side going into Richmond and, and hopefully can have a good day there as well. Do you feel like now you guys are, are kind of back to, to form? I mean, how much of a setback was that last year? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I broke my back, so it, it certainly wasn't good. But, uh, you know, I, I don't really feel like we can really circle that as, a, as the reason why we struggled the second half last year. Like, I felt like I was in a pretty okay spot and, and still continued to struggle. So, um, you know, I think there are some things – race car wise and team wise that, that we had to work through. And, um, and honestly, you know, we're, we're still trying to get better. We've, we've had some races that we really struggled this year, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in a better spot at the moment and, uh, have some momentum on our side, at least Coda historically, if we went to Coda and didn't run top five, I think we we're going to be pretty disappointed just with my success there in the past and, and kind of how we normally run there. Um, honestly, like we qualified really poorly, which was a, a big surprise. We typically qualify really well there. So um, still a lot of work to do, but yeah, kind of a diverse group of, of tracks for our top fives. And um, hopefully we can get another one this weekend. How do you feel headed into Richmond this weekend? Yeah, I mean, even even when we won there, I didn't really feel great about, about that racetrack. It's just really slick, really difficult to get a hold of. Um, even when you're fast, you know, your race car doesn't feel very good. So, you know, the fall race last year was uh, really rough on us. The spring race, we were pretty decent. So hopefully uh, it's more like the spring for us, for sure. I feel like historically uh, for Hendrick Motorsports at that racetrack, when it's cooler out, we're better off. When it's warmer, we really struggle. So being a night race and kind of cooler in the spring, I think we should be a little bit better and uh, spend a bunch of time in the sim trying to, to work on things to be better there. With the long run strategy, the the way Richmond's been the last few years, do you base that strategy on a tire run or or on a fuel run? Uh, tires for sure. I mean, the fall off there is as big as anywhere we go, except for Darlington. So um, yeah, no no full fuel runs at Richmond for sure. It's always going to be based on tires.